A mother who is in poverty is standing on their toes because they're not sure. Will my child be able to get all that I desire for them? Will they get the food? Will they be able to get medication when they fall sick? Will they be able to go to school and achieve a better life ahead? That is the fear of a mother living in poverty. It's really challenging to see mothers going through that and seeing little babies dying mothers dying and yet they would have gotten help and survived. If the survival program didn't exist, some of the children would not survive. A uh, mom in poverty has tried farming, she has failed. She has tried washing clothes for all the neighbors, she has failed. She has tried maybe having a market stall and she has failed and she just gets discouraged. Kuzara <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to speak into that situation. It is really hard because they'll tell you, well, I don't know if I can ever make it. But when the survival program is added on, there's a way in which they don't feel alone. They don't feel like the whole burden is on their shoulders. When the survival program comes in, it rescues a lot of these children, especially for the mothers who have lost hope. Making one year, it's a big milestone. A lot of things, diseases, take up children at that age. But when they make a year, you, you're now more confident. So the survival program is very important. I've seen the mothers who have come on board, getting life again, hope again, where there's not been hope. It teaches the mom how to make it, how to survive and break free from poverty. <laughs> When I join in compassion of Lambuachoka, it's so very out of my own. At least, 